Good day. My name is Bopaya Bidanda, and I am the department chair of the Pitt Industrial Engineering Department. On behalf of the IE faculty and staff, I want to welcome the families and friends of Pitt IE graduates to celebrate this special milestone. You have graduated from a program that has always been nationally ranked, one of the three oldest programs in the world, and one that has provided you with the very best industrial engineering education that you can get anywhere. You have been mentored by outstanding faculty, and I would now like to introduce you to those in attendance. Uh, Professor Mustafa Bedwi, Professor Mary Besterfield Sakri, Professor Hoda Bitkori, Professor Karen Bursik, Professor Yongjie Chan, uh, Professor Renee Clark, Professor Joel Haight, Professor Hyo Kyung Lee, Professor Paul Liu, Professor Louis Luankasarn, Professor Lisa Maylart, Professor Ola Prokopiev, Professor J. Rajgopal, Professor Ravi Shankar, Professor Mike Sherwin, Professor Larry Schumann, Professor Natasha Vidich, and Professor Bo Zeng. Uh, we will now invite Dean Jimmy Martin to deliver a celebratory address to our newly minted graduates. I want to say congratulations to all of you industrial engineering seniors. What a great day. Your undergraduate education is one of the greatest challenges and opportunities of a lifetime. Yet none of us expected that the challenges would be exponential this year because of the COVID-19 pandemic. But now you have earned the title of Pitt Engineer. That's a tradition that's 174 years old. Engineers solve problems. That's our passion. That's our dedication. Regardless of our discipline, we have one goal, to advance the human condition to make society better. And you are now part of a global community of almost 30,000 PIT engineers. Now, the past two months of transitioning to online courses, changes in study habits and living situations, and completing your final exams probably seemed as if that lasted an eternity. But you did it. We all did it together. You and your faculty and advisors were presented a challenge you faced it head on and said, we can solve this, and you did. Today, we celebrate you and the sacrifices that you and your families and loved ones made over the past four years. And this pandemic cannot tarnish that. We will not let it. Now, there will be a little time when we can come back together and celebrate your accomplishments and sing together, Sweet Caroline, in person. We will be here ready to welcome you. Now, we're also here today to celebrate two amazing individuals who have not only dedicated their careers to engineering education, but who have really shaped the learning environment at the Swanson School of Engineering. First, we honor Professor Natasha Biddick. She is this year's Outstanding Educator Award winner, and that's for her commitment and dedication to our students. This is an exceptional recognition because this award is selected by all of you, the students. It means a lot. Over the past decade, uh, Dr. Bidick's research has been focused on improving learning strategies for engineering students through models and modeling work that she has implemented in the classroom. She's been an innovator. She was one of the first ones in our school to completely flip the classroom and her expertise and guidance were invaluable to encouraging other faculty to implement this innovative course delivery approach. Now, since she's been here, she has taught seven different courses all the way from the first year of engineering to the PhD level. Each semester, she teaches between 150 and 250 students from different levels and from different engineering majors. What an incredible testament. And just to 
quote a, a couple of students. One, Sean Callaghan, an industrial engineering student from 2019, stated, since the very first course I took from Dr. Vidic, I admired her ability to engage a classroom. Even in a setting of over 80 students, you never felt as though you were just sitting through another hour and a half lecture. Most of the time, you were having a conversation with either a small group or the entire room and talking through the complex theories and problems that Dr. Biddick had just presented that day. Another student from industrial engineering, Jacob Richards, said, I fervently believe that there is no faculty member like her. She is one of those special cases that mean so much to people like me and that without her, I would not be where I am today. What a powerful legacy. We also want to congratulate Larry Schumann, who is retiring after a remarkable 51-year career at Pitt. Larry has served as a prep professor, interim dean, and uh, retiring as a senior associate dean. In fact, he transitions to emeritus professor um, in about a week from now. So Larry is a nationally recognized expert, leader, and mentor in health systems planning, engineering ethics, and also engineering education. And if you walk the halls of the national headquarters of the American Society of Engineering Education, our reputation, the University of Pittsburgh, as one of the best schools of engineering is in part because of Larry's passion for and dedication to engineering education. If you surveyed other engineering academic deans around the country, you'd be hard pressed to find one of them who's not been influenced by Larry's research. Um, he really is the foundation for the development of many of our innovative programs, like our cooperative engineering program and our study abroad program, both of which are nationally recognized for excellence. Larry's five decade career at Pitt has impacted generations of students and many of those have gone on to become leaders in industry, education, and also research. And I am certainly honored to call him a colleague and I wanna thank him for his unrivaled contributions to the university and especially to the Swanson School of Engineering. So lastly, allow me to leave you with words by the great humanitarian Nelson Mandela, who said, Education is the most powerful weapon with which you can use to change the world. I would change that and amplify it slightly for all of you. Engineering is one of the most powerful tools to change the world. And you are now equipped with one of the most valuable tools imagined, the curiosity, the creativity, and innovation of an engineer, a pit engineer. The world needs more people like us. So I hope you will carry your years at Pitt and the Swanson School with you in your hearts and minds and return as soon as you can here to Benningham Hall so that we might rightfully celebrate your accomplishments. You're now ready for the next important journey in your lifetime. Congratulations on the path you have chosen in completing this first step. Hail to Pitt. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to invite a member of the graduating class to deliver the student address. Uh, please welcome Josh Lyon. Josh. Thank you, Dr. Bedanda. Um, hi, everyone. I hope all has been well for you over this eventful semester. Things have changed a lot, but I'm glad to be able to give a speech to you all today. Uh, going back to the student I was freshman year, I never thought I'd be uh, standing here talking to all of you. I was going through the stress of that year like everyone else was trying to make it through. I think we all uh, we can all appreciate the support I, our IE faculty have given us since we transitioned into the department. Even though classes didn't get easier, I feel the support of our great professors made it a much better experience for all of us. They consistently went out of their way to help students get research opportunities, co-ops, and internships so that all of us could accomplish anything we wanted to. In the future, I hope we are able to go on out into the world and spread the good name of the Swanson School of Engineering so that those students at another Pennsylvania college can keep hearing how much better we are than them. Whether you stay in Pittsburgh area or move on out and abroad, 
I hope we are all able to excel and keep achieving our, our dreams. I personally would like to thank the faculty and staff for all the help they've given me between advising, research opportunities, job advice and support, as well as just listening to students when we have an issue. To everyone graduating today, I would like to say thanks for being a huge support group and for always coming together to tackle our problems. Lastly, I just want to say thank you to my family as well as everyone who supported their kids while going through this journey. Uh, this journey. Without everyone here today, my engineering path would have been a lot worse. So continue to carry on pit pride and hail to pit. Thank you, Josh, and congratulations on a most impressive and undergraduate career, which will no doubt inspire your future as an industrial engineer. We will now begin the portion of the program where we announce the undergraduate students that have received awards at the department level for the 2019-2020 academic year, followed by individual recognition of each of the graduates. I will now turn things over to our undergraduate program director, Dr. Karen Bursick, who will do the honors. Thank you, Dr. Vedanda. Before presenting the undergraduates, I would first like to recognize the students that received undergraduate department awards for the 2019-2020 academic year. First, the Undergraduate Research Award, which goes to a member of the 2019-2020 graduating class who has served in an exemplary manner as an undergraduate student researcher while earning an IE degree. This year's award went to Joshua Line. Congratulations, Josh. The Outstanding Academic Achievement Award, which recognizes the student with the highest cumulative GPA, is awarded to Fan Young and Christian Parker. Congratulations to both of them. Each of the award winners will receive a plaque in honor of these recognitions. It is now my pleasure to present to you the undergraduate students who have earned their Bachelor of Science degree in Industrial Engineering. And now those students who have earned their BSIE, Asma Algumdi. Asma would like to thank her husband, daughter, and family who have been next to her every single step of the way. The journey here wasn't easy and she knows it still may not be, but to know that she has all their love and support means so much to her. Asma has been admitted to the Engineering Accelerated Graduate Program and is looking forward to completing her master's at Pitt. Christy Elizabeth Andros. Christy participated in the co-op program working for Curtis Wright and FedEx. She also worked for the Red Bull Wings team while attending Pitt. Christy earned six credits studying abroad in Florence, Italy while learning about engineering of the Renaissance and the history of art in Florence. She would like to thank her mother, brothers Richie and Joe, and her boyfriend Mark for the endless encouragement and support in gaining her BSIE. Aaron Bates. Aaron was a co-chair for the 2019 IISC Regional Conference hosted by um, the IE department. Aaron is an awardee of the Panthers Forward grant and looks forward to being able to give back to the Pitt community via Panthers Forward. Aaron would like to thank her friends and family for their support and guidance during her time at Pitt and look forward to the next challenge. Emily Rose Beck. Emily spent her time in school working multiple part-time jobs and always making sure the 10th floor was stocked with energy drinks. She's excited to be relocating to Atlanta to launch her career with her favorite company, Red Bull. Emily wants to thank her parents, brothers, her friends, and Daniel for sticking with her and supporting her on this journey. Marley Brown. Marley completed a manufacturing internship and two co-op rotations with UPMC Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh. She hopes to work as a health systems engineer once graduating. Marley expresses her love and gratitude to her parents, sisters, and grandmas for their unconditional support and encouragement. Michael Joseph Carosi. After graduation, Michael was looking to pursue a job in industrial engineering in Pittsburgh. Michael played four years on the D1 club hockey team at Pitt and was the assistant captain. Michael would like to thank all of his family and friends who helped him to get to this point in his academic career.
Chen Chen. Chen is planning to start her graduate study this fall. She would like to thank everyone that helped her during her studies. Chi Yuan Chen. Chi Yuan would like to thank all his professors at Pitt and Scoopy. Special thanks to Dean Chu, who made the program possible. He graduates with a 3.8 GPA and is excited to continue graduate study at the University of Michigan. Wei Chen Xiong. Wei would like to thank his friends and family for the support during these past years. He is excited to begin a new journey after college. Alyssa Noel Chobel. Alyssa wants to thank her family for supporting her education, her professors for sharing their knowledge, and her IE friends for being the best. Alyssa was happy to assist her professors and peer IEs working for the department as a TA and grader. Alyssa is excited to work for Precision Cast Sports Corporation and the Operations Management Leadership Development Program after graduation. Eileen Elizabeth Colley. Attending Pitt was Eileen's dream since she was a child. She is now proud to be continuing her career at the Stores Consulting Group. She would like to thank her parents and her Pittsburgh family for their constant support. Brooke Elizabeth Conroy. Brooke is excited to continue working with her co-op company, Mind Safety Appliances. She would like to thank her friends and family for their continued support throughout her time at Pitt. Tristan Poole Cunha. Tristan will be graduating with a concentration in engineering management and a certificate in Portuguese. Tristan co opted and interned with four different companies, including one internship abroad in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Tristan will be moving to Midland, Texas in September to begin work with Schlumberger as a field engineer. Shija Caroline Din. Caroline wants to say thank you for her for support of her friends and family and hopes to go on to get her master's degree. Caroline appreciates everything that she learned while studying at the University of Pittsburgh. Carolyn Dobies. Carolyn is excited to begin her career as a leadership development associate with Parker Hannafin in a rotational program. Carolyn would like to thank her parents, family, and friends for the endless love and support in reaching this milestone. Carolyn graduates summa cum laude, was able to participate in three projects with Incline Consulting Group, and was the president of Alpha Pi Mu. Grace Marie Dunn. Gracie sang soprano in the Heinz Chapel Choir for five years. She wants to thank her mom and dad for every opportunity they made possible for her and for moving her stuff around 12 times for co-op. Gracie is pursuing healthcare systems engineering roles. Mark Allen Gwowacki. Mark is excited to be joining the PNC Bank with their Operations Excellence Program and is thankful for his family and friends that helped him along the way. Mark is graduating with his BSIE and a concentration in engineering management. He would like to say a special thank you to his parents and sisters for always pushing him to go further and never letting him fall down. Peijiao Houston Ho. Houston would like to thank his family and friends for their support and hopes to go on to get his master's degree. He would also like to thank his professors. Their fantastic courses helped him develop an engineer's way of thinking. He appreciates the opportunity to study at Pitt. Even though it was short, everyone was very friendly. Anthony Jacob. Anthony closed this chapter as Pitt's president of the Coptic Orthodox Youth Association on campus, and he is excited to see what the future holds. Anthony wants to thank God, his family, and his friends for their support and guidance throughout his time at Pitt. Joseph Thomas John. Outside of the classroom, Joe was involved with the Student Government Board and Incline Consulting Group. He would like to thank his family and friends for their support and guidance. Caitlin Louise Kruger. Caitlin was on the Division I softball team while pursuing her degree with concentrations in health systems engineering and engineering management. She would like to thank God, her loving and supportive family and friends, and the IE department for the great education and giving her lifelong best friends. Caitlin will be moving to Chicago after graduation to join GuideHouse as a healthcare consultant on their revenue cycle management team. 
Ying Yoon, Kara Lau. Kara wants to say thank you for the support of her family and friends and hopes to go on to get her master's degree. Brendan Letwich. Brendan graduates with a Bachelor of Science in Industrial Engineering. Jun Liang Lee. Jun Liang is excited to go to UC Berkeley to get his master's degree in operations research. Yan Wei Li. Yan Wei graduates with an economics minor and, and is excited to continue his study at USC. He has overcome tremendous challenges to earn his bachelor's degree. Idan Li. Idan is excited to begin her new journey in Australia. She would like to thank her family for supporting her studies at the University of Pittsburgh. She would also like to thank everyone here. Idan also thanks herself for learning to live independently. Joshua Allen Line. Josh took first place at last semester's Design Expo and plans to pursue the winning project as a startup after college. Josh completed two semesters of research with Dr. Badu in the Nano Products Lab and held board positions in two clubs. Josh would like to thank his friends and family for this for support, as well as the amazing IE faculty at Pitt who have helped guide him. Colin Matthew Loyacono. Colin is excited to start his career with the White and Turner Contracting Company as a project engineer. Colin also achieved a minor in economics and a concentration in engineering management. Colin would like to thank his friends, family, and faculty for all the support they have given him these past four years. Jay Chiao Luau. Jay Chiao graduates with a GPA above 3.9 and minors in mathematics and economics. He plans to get his master's degree in data science. He received the Elias Holzman Undergraduate Teaching Fellows Award and was an active brother of Theta Tau fraternity. He also wants to say thank you for the support of his family, friends, and professors. Guqing Liu Luau. Guqing Liu went to Pitt in his third year of college. He loves life at Pitt and is proud to be part of the Pitt family. He would like to say thank you to his parents for their support. He also wants to give special thanks to his advisor, Dr. Budanda, the Dean of Scoopy, Dr. Chu, Dr. Clark, and the IE faculty. He also always wants to say thanks to his friends from Scoopy, as well as his close friends, Josh Line, Raul Budanda, Lindsay Meyer, and others. Jahari Rashahan Mercer. Jahari is excited to be remaining at Pitt to pursue a Master's of Business Administration from the Joseph M. Katz Graduate School of Business. Jahari would like to thank the Pitt Excel program as well as the National Society of Black Engineers for being his family while at Pitt. Jahari was very involved on campus, but is most proud of his time as an engineering ambassador for the Swanson School of Engineering. Regina Kathleen Munch. While the time has flown by, Regina is so happy that she chose to study IE. Re Regina will be fulfilling a lifelong dream and attending the University of Pittsburgh School of Dental Medicine starting in August. Regina is so grateful for the support of her advisor, Dr. Vidic, her family, and her friends. Hail to Pitt. Matthew O'Connor. Matthew would like to say a special thank you to his parents, his sister Julia, and Bridget. He also wants to especially thank Dr. Haight, his advisor, Dr. Bursick, and Alyssa Choboy, as well as all of the IE faculty and students who've helped him over the last four years. Christian Parker. Christian is grateful for the experiences and opportunities that have helped him develop professionally and personally throughout his time at Pitt. Christian wants to say thanks to his family and all the friends that have been with him through the past four years. Christian is excited to work as an associate consultant with Viva Systems, a software developer for the life sciences industry. Sophie Pong. Sophie feels the great joy of meeting many friends at Pitt and she is now waiting for the next step, graduate school. Sophie wants to say thank you to her family and friends for always supporting her. Veronica Radin. Throughout her time in school, Veronica worked as a TA, librarian, and desk reader for the engineering school, in addition to her three co-op rotations. She held nine different positions with Greek Life, served as co-chair for three SWE events, and was on Incline Consulting Group Executive Board for two years. She would like to say, she would like to thank the IE department, 
her friends and family for their endless support as she moves to Chicago to start her career with West Monroe Partners. Buquen Jen. Buquen transferred from Scoopy and graduates with admittance to UC Berkeley for further education in graduate school. Buquen graduates with a Bachelor of Science degree in Industrial Engineering. Buquen is grateful to have met professors with superior professional attitudes and peers with great person personality and an altruistic nature. Caitlin Elizabeth Resendez. Caitlin would like to say thank you for the support of her friends and family. Zachary Stephen Romack. Zach was a three-time captain of the Pitt men's lacrosse team and worked part-time jobs to make money to support local bars. Upon graduation, Zach will be moving to Washington, D.C. to work for Deloitte Consulting. He would like to say thank you to his family for their constant support over the years, as well as all the people he's met through the IE department. Alex Rosati. During his time at the Swanson School, Alex spent two years as a team lead for Design Hub and three years as an officer in the Engineering Student Council. He also served as the Vice President of Conferences for the National Association of Engineering Student Councils. Alex would like to thank the faculty and staff of our IE department for cultivating an unmatched hospitality within the department and for all their support and teachings throughout the years. Marnie Yale Serrata. Marnie completes her BS IE degree and requirements for med school. While at Pitt, she was president of her sorority and studied abroad. She is excited to begin working at Deloitte. Jadua Song. Jadua participated in a funded summer research opportunity at MCSI and plans to go to a graduate program. Jadua completes his BSIE with a good academic record. The biggest harvest is that he made several best close friends. Shahan Tong. Kathy Tan finishes the Scoopy 2 plus 2 program with a high GPA. She's excited to be admitted to the master's program at the University of Michigan, Ann Arbor. Yichi Tian. Yichi is a transfer student from Scoopy and completed the 2 plus 2 program. She graduates with a 3.9 GPA and is excited to continue her graduate IE study at Pitt. During her years at Pitt, she adapted well to a new cultural environment and a second language while making new friends. Yishi wants to say thank you to her friends and family for helping and encouraging her through all the difficulties that she has met. McKinley and Tim. McKinley is so excited to begin her career as an industrial engineer and hopes to help the world become a more sustainable place someday. McKinley is thankful for the unwavering support of her family and friends with special thanks to her mom, grandpa, roommates, and boyfriend. Though the future is uncertain, McKinley has loved her time at Pitt and is grateful for the opportunity to become a Pitt IE. An Shi Wong. An Shi was successful in his studies and found his future career during his two years at Pitt. An Shi really appreciates the support of his professors and friends. Tao Wong. Tao wants to say thank you for the support of his friends and family. He's excited to begin his master's studies at Georgia Tech. Yijong Wang. Yijong graduates with a high GPA. In addition to completing his BSIE, he graduates with a supply certificate and a minor in economics. Natalie Wickhesser. Natalie will graduate with a minor in economics as well as concentrations in engineering management and operations research. She is looking forward to starting in her new role as operations research analyst with NASA Glenn Research Center. She would like to thank her parents and her and sister for their incredible support over the past four years. She couldn't have done it without them. Samuel Wells. Sam graduates with a Bachelor of Science in Industrial Engineering. Rachel West. Rachel is graduating summa cum laude and will be moving on to a position with the United States Postal Service as an operations industrial engineer. She co-op with Siemens Energy and was involved in student organizations like Theta Tau and Alpha Pi Mu while working part-time. Rachel would like to thank her parents, sister, and grandparents for their continued support and guidance throughout her college career. 
Han Song Chiu. Han Song graduates with a Bachelor of Science in Industrial Engineering. Han Xion Yong. After graduation, Han Xion will go on to get her master's degree in Singapore. She wants to say thanks for the support of her family and friends. She completed a number of volunteer activities while finishing her university studies. Chi Yong. She was a straight A student during undergraduate study and is excited to further study data science at graduate school. She thanks all her friends, classmates, and professor. Because of them, she has lots of progress and becomes, became the person she wanted to be. She gained experience participating in school research. Lucas Henry Yonda. Lucas graduates with a 3.85 GPA. Lucas worked two separate engineering co-op positions with local Pittsburgh companies, Ibacos and Power Contracting Company. He is proud to be the treasurer and four-year brother of the Pi Kappa Alpha Gamma Sigma fraternity. Fan Young. Fan maintains a perfect 4.0 GPA for all of her semesters at Pitt. She wants to say thank you to Dr. Bo Zhang and Dr. Renee Clark, who helped and guided her along the way. Fan was selected as a teaching assistant and as a transfer peer mentor. She also worked for Sodexo Company for two years as a student employee and kept a 20 hour work week. Xiao Xu Jia. Xiao Xu wants to say thank you to Professor Rene for everything she has done for him. He hopes to go on to get his master's. He is proud to have learned skills such as Java and data structure, and he would like to thank everyone that helped him along the way. Congratulations to all of our Bachelor of Science degree recipients. I would like to now turn the presentation over to our graduate program director, Dr. Jay Washkapal, who will introduce our graduate students. It's my pleasure to present to you the graduate students who have earned a master's or PhD degree in industrial engineering. Bhargav Gaurang Chinoy. Bhargav graduates with a master of science in industrial engineering. Beliappa Chodumada Chengappa. Beliappa wants to say thank you to his family, friends, and professors for their support. Brad Jordan. Brad graduates with a Master of Science in Industrial Engineering. Surjan Komar Lav Suresh. Surjan graduates with a Master of Science in Industrial Engineering. Chao Sheng Dong. Chao Sheng graduates with lots of friends and is excited to move to his new job with Amazon. Chao Sheng wants to say thank you for the mentorship of Dr. Bo Zen during his PhD study. Chaosheng would like to thank his wife, Yi Jia Wang, for her four years company. Yu Peng Feng. Yu Peng would like to thank all of his professors, classmates, and staff for their generous help and support during his studies. Shan Gong. Shan graduates with a PhD in industrial engineering. Sajad Haghani Far. Sajad graduates with a PhD in industrial engineering. Rahul Raj, Raj Gopal. Rahul finished his dual degree masters in industrial engineering and business administration. During his studies, he co-op at Gutman Energy. He would like to thank all of his friends, family, and professors. Jongyu Ouyang. Jongyu would like to thank her family, professors, and friends for all of their support and is pursuing a next master's degree. Zitsan Yan. Zitsan graduates with a 3.7 GPA. He completed a summer internship with Accenture and also worked on consulting projects with UPMC and Highmark. Thank you, Dr. Raj Gopal. As we end this morning's program, please join me in acknowledging your family members and friends who have contributed to your success emotionally, financially, and spiritually. Typically, we ask family members and friends to stand and we give them a physical applause. We obviously cannot do that here, but we truly want to acknowledge all of the people that have supported our IE graduates. You certainly deserve recognition and thanks. Back to our IE graduates, as you succeed in your professional life, 
I encourage you to maintain the bonds you have formed with your classmates, your department, and with the Swanson School of Engineering through active participation in many of the programs and events. We extend our best wishes to you, your families, and your friends as you change the world. I'd like to close by giving each of our faculty members an opportunity to congratulate our students on their success. I will now call on individual faculty that are here today. Uh, I'll begin by calling on Dr. Mustafa Bedoui. Hello, everyone. I wanted to congratulate you all on reaching this important uh, uh, milestone, and I wish you the best of success in your future uh, endeavors, and uh, please uh, stay in touch. Thank you, Dr. Mary Westfield sacri Hi, everyone. Congratulations on your great achievement. You've graduated as an industrial engineer from the University of Pittsburgh. COVID-19 might have swept the globe, and in its undercurrent took away many important events. Yet it has not cheapened the milestone that you have made. To the class of 2020, you have my heart and my prayers. I know there's nothing you can't accomplish. Keep fighting, stay hopeful, and most importantly, hail to Pitt. Uh, we now call on Dr. Hoda Bitkori. Hello, everyone. So happy to share in the excitement of your graduation day. Uh, so proud of you. And please uh, stay in touch and uh, would be happy to talk to you more in the future. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Yongjie Chan. Hi, everyone. Uh, congratulations on your uh, great achievement. And uh, I hope you have a, a great future. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Renee Clark. Congratulations. You have made it through four plus very difficult years. They were difficult academically, certainly, and perhaps even personally. Undoubtedly, and most certainly, a time of growth for you. And so please always remember this time of accomplishment and growth for you, um, in particular relative to your abilities to accomplish and achieve your goals in the future. Best wishes. Thank you. Dr. Joel Haight. Congratulations, graduates. I'm very proud of all of you. Send you my best wishes for a successful and long career. Please make sure to come back and visit your alma mater and hail to Pitt. Dr. Hyo Kyung Lee. Hello, everyone. Congratulations on your great achieve achievement. I wish you all the best for the future that lies ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Paul Liu. Congratulations, everyone. Hope you continue to persevere, even when things are rough, rough. Thank you, Dr. Liu. Um, Dr. Louis Lu Angerson. Hello, I want to tell all the graduates about how proud I was in doing the senior projects. I've been bragging to all my colleagues in emergency management about your developing continuing operations plans, uh, working with your sponsors and your teammates um, during that big interruption. My best wishes and hopes for you as we move on to our next stages of our careers and lives. Thank you, Louis. Dr. Lisa Maylark. Congratulations, you made it. So. Hats off to you and your future. Wow. Uh, Dr. Oleg, thank you, Dr. Maylar. Dr. Oleg Prokopiev and Dr. Ravi Shankar could not be here today. Uh, we will have uh, Dr. Mike Sherwin now. He's next. Congratulations, everyone. This is certainly a strange but yet really exciting time. You've all done a great job getting to this point and are very well prepared for your futures. So don't wait for your future to happen. Go make it happen now. Congratulations. Thank you, Mike. Uh, Dr. Larry Schumann. Congratulations, graduates. Uh, I am delighted to wish you all good luck and best wishes. You are the 51st class that I have been able to congratulate and wish you luck. And a special shout out to the students from Scoopy who will be graduating. You may not remember this, but when you matriculated at Scoopy, I was there to welcome you. So good luck to all in the future. Thank you, Larry. 
Uh, as uh, you heard from Dean Martin and Dr. Schumann alluded to, uh, Dr. Schumann is retiring after 51 years. At Pitt, thank you for all the fun times, Larry. Uh, next is Dr. Bo Zeng. Hello, everyone. Congratulations. Now it's an uh, unusual and challenging time, but it also shows we can handle challenges and the difficult issues. So here, I wish you all the best in your career and uh, future lives. Thank you, Bo. Uh, Dr. Natasha Vidic. Hi, everyone. Um, I just want to congratulate everybody. Good luck in your future endeavors. Um, I can honestly say it was an honor to be a part of your lives, even for just a short time. Um, I hope you will keep in touch and we will all miss you. All the best and hail to Pitt. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Vidic. Uh, Dr. Bursik. Hi, everyone. I just want to say a final congratulations to all our bachelor's, master's, and PhD graduates. Um, I can't tell you how disappointed I am that I can't be with you um, in person to congratulate you. Be sure to join our, join our alumni pages on both Facebook and LinkedIn and stay in touch. Uh, my prayers and best wishes for an amazing future to all of you. Thank you, Dr. Bursik. After Dr. Schumann, I think Dr. Bursik has been associated the longest with Pitt. She got her bachelor's, master's, undergrad, and now is a faculty member. Uh, Dr. Raj Gopal. Hi, everyone. Um, I'd like to offer my congratulations to all of the graduates, uh, bachelor's, master's, and PhD. And I wish you all the very best going forward. Stay safe and please stay in touch. Thank you, Dr. Raj Gopal. Uh, before we end the ceremony, I really want to thank the one person who, one of many people, but she took the lead making this happen. Uh, so Whitney Wilt, I wish you uh, would I mean, you know, come forward and accept our thanks. If this was a physical ceremony, we would all be standing for a long, long time and giving her our thanks on behalf of the faculty, staff, and graduates for helping put this very difficult and complex event together at such short notice. So thank you, Whitney. But in terms of the IE graduates, uh, I just want you to know that your graduating class is amazing, that the accomplishments are astounding, and the bonds of fellowship amongst yourselves and within the department are inspiring to all of us. Please know that you are now and always will be part of the Pitt IE family. You will always have a home here on the 10th floor of Barrington. We hope that you will remain as proud of your Pitt IE degree as we are of each of you. Congratulations and hail to Pitt.